In this tutorial, I'm going to be teaching you how to make a blend file into a nice asset uh, library. So as you can see, we have a picture of each asset that we're going to append in. And this is exactly the asset you're going to get. So I can go uh, append from library. And as you can see, it appends it straight in. And if it had any textures, if it was, if it was game ready and so on, then it would append everything you needed in. Um, so we're going to go ahead and learn how to create something like this today. All right, so let's say this is our blend file here, and this is going to be the one that contains all of our objects. So first of all, we want to go ahead and get delete anything we don't want in here. Um, so this is going to be one of the objects we can append. So let's go ahead and move this up, and I'm just going to scale this out. Um, you know come up with something so that looks good let's go that in so this is a asset we have let's say that and I'm going to make it smooth just so you can see the details and then we're going to move this across um, maybe make it smaller like that All right and that should be good. Could call this um, box one, and you can go ahead and name the the mesh that if you like as well. Ooh, there we go, and I'm going to name the material that as well. So there we go. Um, because in the blend file you'll be able to append the materials and stuff, so you want everything correctly named, and you can also append. Uh, the mesh the mesh is so you want to have everything correctly named and that will help you out a, a lot so we can go box two and we can come go ahead and come over here call this box two and uh, we'll leave the same material because that's fine um so let's just go ahead and quickly make another asset so this will be a chair now you don't have to you can make whatever you like um, I'm just making some basic things here um, so let's just, this can be like a, I don't know, some kind of table, I guess, not a chair. And we can go ahead and join that. And that should be good. Now, in this case, I didn't, but you want to make everything to a correct scale. So when you import it into your scene, it's going to be the correct scale, as long as you're doing that scene in the correct scale. So what you can go ahead and do is come to the scene settings here and change the units from none to metric or imperial, depends what you want. And now you see, since it's metric, we have meters in everything here. So that's quite useful. So you make it the right size when you import into your scene. All your assets are going to be the same size, the right size. So it's a good habit to get modeling in the correct size anyway. Uh, I don't, I'm not sure if these to correct size, but should be fine for, uh, for this example. Um, all right, so let's go ahead and save this, and I'm going to save it to the desktop. Um, actually, I'm going to save in this assets folder I have. So you can see I have one already here that was a test I did before. So let's go ahead and come here and go assets. And we'll call this assets one and save. All right, so let's go ahead and open up a new blend file. So if we quickly go ahead and come in here and we go to a append and we go to assets folder and we click on assets one because it's the one we created or it will just be called assets in your case or whatever you called it. And I click on objects and I come here to display mode for file list and this is gonna show thumbnails as you can see, we're not getting pictures of what the objects are. So how do we get pictures of what the objects are? Well, the way we do that is we come over to this blend file. And what you're going to want to go ahead and do is once you've done all your edits, um, so this is even if you update it, click save. Then you want to come ahead, go ahead and come over here to data previews. And you can see batch generate previews. So let's do that. Click on the, this assets one file, and then we'll go batch generate previews. And as you can see, um, you can't really see anything, but 
it has done something so let's go ahead and come back to here and we can also go ahead and if we come out of here and go to objects as you can see now we have our table our box and our other box um, now this will show the materials on it with uh, I believe it's like the basic OpenGL view or something I'm not sure how exactly it does it but if you have textures on here it will show the textures as well um, so that's that's awesome and also you can see it saved the materials so if you had more materials here it would also show up preview of the materials and um, so on you've got the scene as you can see we've got the objects there textures which is just default one that comes with blender they've got the world and any images you might have also switch with groups so if you have groups of object it will create a data preview with the groups but now as you can see we have our objects showing up and they look great so we can just go ahead and click append and there we go we've appended in it's all nice and easy you can also do this with linking um or you can go ahead and um, if you add another one here click save and come back to our preview over here and let's go append it again as you can see data preview is not showing so what you can go ahead and do is um, I, re I believe refresh data block previews after you've saved if you do it and then you save it it will remove them again I'm not sure why but it just does that so let's go back objects um, all right so that didn't work uh, so you've got to go ahead and come back here data previews batch generate data previews click on the blend file generate them now we can come back over here and as you can see data previews are showing up for each object so this is how you create an object library and I mean this would work perfectly for any assets you had for your game so let's say you're making a blender game it would pretty sure it uses OpenGL rendering to create these so you'll get nice nice looking material of what your things are looking game and I mean it's great for level design you can create a whole library of objects and just input them into your scene using this nice layout of uh, objects but there we go that is how you create a nice uh, blend file that you can use as an asset library.